Hello, welcome to Ekidel. My name is Justice Umoka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you how to design a four-story irregular shape building. So, as you can see this plan right now, this is a four-story and this building is irregular as you can see the shape of this building. It has a different shape and also have several cantilevers on every side. So, let me just show you first the plan view of this building just now. So, I'll just go right now, click on the plan view here. And then, once the plan view shows, you will see the right how the plan looks like. Okay, this building is very big, like it's very big in width and all that. Okay, so right now, this is now the shape of the building, as you can see that. And also, I used a waffle slab for this design. Although, I'm going to show you also how to insert a waffle slab with the waffle slab load. You know, last time when, when I did, the, did a waffle slab, I didn't show you guys how to add the load. Although, that, I think I didn't, maybe I just forgot that. But on this other building right now, I showed you guys how to apply the load. Okay, so as you can see the shape of the building just now, this is basically the, the fifth floor. But if you go to the um, first floor just here now, you will see that this lift area is being, void, is being voided. So just go to the first floor now and then you will see that this lift area and the staircase here and um, here are yeah, being voided. So uh, yeah, so, so this is now the first floor. And as you can see that the whole, since um, the whole um, shape the whole plan they are all typical to the um fourth floor so i can see right now this this is not the shape of the building i turned off this on grid line so that it can just be clear because we have it we have so several grid line to be able to achieve this we have to use this grid line to be able to achieve the center of this of this building okay so i'll just go now and then turn off my grid line and then i'll now go back right now to now go to my 3d view and then from there i will now show you how to um design this building okay so first of all before we start i would say that if you have not um click on the subscribe button i'll say you should please um subscribe to the channel and also like this video please click on the like button so that we will also be known very well on youtube okay so thank you so much and god bless you so if you look at this right let me just um close this column i don't know why it's going to show you here okay so if you look at this building right now you can see the very shape of that bit now though i will show you through the building later so let me just show you first on this building right now okay so if you see right now you can see that it has different phases as you can see that okay so right now let's begin hello you're welcome to ekidel we are a train future civil and structural engineer. My name is Justice Omoka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you the design of four-story building. So as you can see right now, this is an irregular shape building. As you can see the shape of the building. If I go through the plan view just now, let me just go to the plan view. And also, I'm using the software portal structure for this structural design. So I'll just go right now to the plan. And then from the plan now, you will not see the shape of the building. Okay, right now, this is now the shape of the building. I turned off my grid line because I have a lot of grid lines. So I turned it off just to give um, some kind of clarity to the plan. So let me just turn it off right now. So this is the shape of the plan. As you can see around this place here, we have all this place being cantilevered, as you can see that. And if I um, navigate right now to show both the plan view and also the 3D view, just to show you how this cantilever is on the 3D model. So let, let me just open and then I'll just um, make, my, make, make my screen to share um, into two. And then here, plan view and then the other side 3D view. Okay, so be, before we start, I will say that if you have not um, subscribed to our channel Ekidel, I would say that you should click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss um, all the video notifications. Okay, so right now, just uh, make it vertically. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I have more than one. Let me just close this other one here. So that will have just two. And then I'll just um, change this one to this side and this also to this side now. And then I can just choose to um, keep this here and expand this a bit. 
okay and then take this back somewhere a bit here let me just close this right now and expand this also a bit and this also a bit to this place here okay and then i will now come here and keep this here okay that's fine so right now this is the cantilever area as i told you guys that this whole area you have been cantilevered as you can see if you check the length of the cantilever right now this is a 4.879 meters length of cantilever as you can see the length of this beam here on this face here okay so this is now how the cantilever is let me just um toggle it so i can see it very well okay yeah so this is how the cantilever is right now as you can see the cantilever here this is how it is so every load now from this face here is being transferred into the columns as you can see that okay so again you can also see that we have a cantilever here also having a semi um a semi arc beam here as you can see that so basically although it's an irregular shape this is the um this is the roof level if you check on the story one you will see that there is um, a lift hole here which is elevator hole around this place here as you can see that and this is for the staircase here and this also for this is for the staircase no this is for the staircase and this is a void here okay so right now i'll just go right now so but before i begin the structural design the first thing i said again before when you're designing for um a large building as you can see that this building here is not really high in in story but the but the span of the building is is way too um long so because of that i will not want to use a solid slab for this building i want to use um a waffle slab for the building and if you check on my last video i showed you guys how to insert a waffle slab but i mistakenly didn't show you guys how to load your waffle slab because as you know that waffle slab requires you to use either a clay pot or you have to use a polystyrene material so you have to apply the weight of those clay pot or polystyrene material on the weight of your building so that is what i didn't consider on my last video which is for the waffle slab okay so on this video right now before we begin i'll have to check show you how to load your waffle slab because i want to use a, a waffle slab entirely for this four story building design okay so right now i'll begin from the um i'll begin from the story one so let me just make my story one um active okay yeah or i, I can choose to yeah from story one actually so i can now go here and remove all my slabs from this story one i can choose to use this means here to remove them by clicking on this first and then hold my shift key and let me just click a bit here and then i will now come right right click and then say delete and i say yes just a slab and i'll come again just now i'll come again now click on this hold my shift key and next again and right click the reason why i'm doing it part of pass that it not waste time to select all the slab on the on this story one okay so i will see that as the video is going on i will see that you should please click on the like button like this video and because it helps out a lot for this youtube to be able to uh, at least um recommend our videos to people so i'll say you should click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel if you have not done that okay so right now i will now begin to insert my my waffle slab so i'll just repeat what i what, what i did on my last video the reason why i'm just trying to repeat the waffle slab was because i didn't i didn't load the 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 slab okay so right now how to insert your waffle slab you have to come to this place here that says concrete member and then go to where the hair that says rib slab now on that rib slab just now you have to now go to this place first and click on type and click this one that says village so make sure you click that and then you have to set in your parameters so on this now i want to use the width of my of the width of this place here to be 150 and then this place now i want to use 300 and on this place now i want to use 50 so this is the that of the slab 50 or i use some yeah 50 is okay and then here right now i want to use 350. okay so before you can insert your slab 
you have to go here first on this place here that says load click on load and then load your slab. I can see that this load here is empty so you, you, you must load your slab and on this place now first of all on this dead load basically if it was a normal slab like in a normal solid slab we would have just gone and used the 1.5 because what makes up this dead load is your is your is your um first of all is your partition load and then also finish load so had it been it was just a normal slab like this here i would have just go ahead and use my uh, and use 1.5 as my dead load but right now since there's since there's gonna be um since there's gonna be a clay pot on this waffle slab i'll have to impute the load of that so i'll just put there one, one 2.5 sorry and then on this place right now which is this this 2.5 now is because of the dead load from that polystyrene material or from the clay pot that they will use for the waffle slab so on this place again right now i'll have to right click here and then choose the type of building i'm sending for i am sending for a hotel building so i'll come here right now and then choose a hotel you can see there hotels so again right now i want to begin to now insert my waffle slab before i do that first i can first of all go and turn on my grid lines <laughs> sorry but i can still go ahead right now and then click on my slab on that so right now you cannot see that my slab now is now being inserted right now if i don't like the shape the size of the block which is here i'll just go over here right now in this place here and then come here and change this area here which is this width here and i'll come here and put 100 and i'll call 125 125 and then i'll click on update and then just watch how it will change yeah so this is how you can see right now so if you don't like the shape you can um, adjust your your width of your block or of that material or the width of that okay so right now this is okay for me so with this now i will now go ahead now and now be inserting my waffle slab now since we have just can check that the load is still active and then we will now begin to insert it now on all the panels so this is how to insert basically your waffle slab on your structure so i want to eat basically everywhere waffle slab knowing that we have different types of waffle slab sorry here was an here was empty so i'll not put that so this place here is where we have let me just i'll i'll take off this let me just take this off i don't we, we, we don't have here yeah. so have it here and then we'll have it here and then we'll have here too okay that's fine and um since there since there is a lift there won't be um any staircase any slab there because that's for lift so always keep lift and staircase area void because those um the the staircase is being designed separately okay so i'll do that too i'm first of all leaving this side because i can choose to use a different type of rib slab which is the one-way rib slab i know that we have on like on this on this rib slab we have two types which is one way and also two way so this so the two way now is not called a waffle slab why the one way is called a normal rib slab which is just a vertical beams or horizontal beams going okay so i'll put this here also and then continue with this okay so again right now i will just quickly go on now and then once this is done in starting i think this is almost done remaining this one here okay that's fine so let me now begin to put on this cantilever area if it will fit in let me just put that i'll put this right now here okay that's fine that's okay i'll put this also here and i'll put this here okay so i'll just put now i'll just use the waffle slab now generally around the building so before on my last video i explained to you guys um why you must why you have to use a waffle slab or a whip slab when you are designing for at least a very massive building of like that have different story or very large building the reason is because you have to use to at least to reduce load on your structure so you have to um, make sure you apply this kind of slab to, to be able to reduce the weight of the structure else if you don't know how to design different type of type of slab then you begin to have issues in my next video i will show you how to design a flat slab 
because I think I've not done that before on this channel. So I will show you that how, how to design, how to first of all model and then design a flat slab because it is good for you to know how to do that. Okay, so I'll put this here right now. Okay, as you all know that, uh, as you all know that flat slab does not carry beams, so it is just the slab and the column. So I'll also show you that how to design for that um, um, flat slab. And also, flat slab carries so many principles that you have to adopt before you can fully design a flat slab. That's because there is no beam on that type of slab. You have just a slab and just the column. Okay, so right now we are done inserting our, as you can see, okay, we are left to this place here. So I'll go here just now and then insert this other one here right now. Okay, and this place too. So right now, I'll just click on what, escape, and, or, yeah, on my escape key, I'll come here and then click on what, e escape here. So you cannot see that we have basically now um, inserted all our waffle slab perfectly, as you can see that. You cannot see that we have done our waffle slab here perfectly. So I will now go and repeat the same thing on story, um, on the other stories, okay? So right now, I'll just do that just now. Okay, so that's how to load waffle slab. You, you have to put in the dead load and then either as 2.5 or thereabout and then also the life load. And then you have to now um, impute your your waffle slab parameters, the width, the depth, depth of slab, and also the, the, the height of block. Okay, so thank you so much and God bless you. I love you. Bye.